first I want to define what I call the C-section shelf because it's not really a thing you can Google and there's no standard definition. So, same as when I was talking about it in my workshop today, a C-section shelf is when the scar of the cesarean is tighter than the tissues around it, which creates a shelf-like appearance. So the above tissues and or the below tissues can bulge out past the scar line, the external scar line, okay? So when I uh, answer the questions going forward, that's what I'm referring to. Now that you know it's completely normal the first few weeks after cesarean, what I would suggest with the swelling is to get some compression on right away. Get compression on after day one, gentle compression, uh, wear it for the first six weeks generally, and wean yourself off after that. Every body is different, and if you have questions about compression, I ran a huge workshop about it a couple of Mondays ago, so just go back in my Instagram grid, and I talk all about what types to get, when to start, how long to wear compression for, how to do it right, what things to look out for, how to, how to do it wrong, all the things. So compression, day one to week six, it'll help with swelling, and it'll definitely help with that C-section shelf appearance. While every body is different, your best shot at changing the appearance of your C-section shelf is in the first six months post-cesarean, okay? It doesn't mean you can't make a difference after the six-month mark. That's not what I'm saying at all. But your scar tissue is the most malleable during this time for you to be doing your own scar massage yourself not having to see a therapist on the regular, okay? So take advantage of this window. Make sure you learn your scar massage. This will decrease the tightness and the uh, how stuck that scar tissue is to the tissues below. No, it's never too late. Here's what I want everybody to hear. Your body is a machine when it comes to adapting to load. So that means, I mean, your scar tissue is living and breathing. It means it can change at any time. Now, the older it is, the tougher it is to change. But it doesn't mean it can't change. The older it is, that means you're probably going to need to use different techniques and maybe even tools. That being said, if you've never massaged your scar before and you're years out, definitely I've seen differences and changes in the first two years postpartum with the moms that I've worked with. Start now. You'd be shocked at how such a little bit goes such a long way. And it's just five minutes a day. Um, it's one of these things that you can absolutely learn on your own. The C-section shelf can be changed while you're pregnant, but I would not recommend to try this on your own. See your perinatal therapist for a one-on-one -on -one in person assessment just to make sure that you know if there is pain associated with it, um, if there is difficulty with engaging core control, etc. It might not be um, shelf related. It, it may be something to do with your pregnancy. So try not to go about diagnosing yourself during such a unique time of life. Uh, this is really a time to be seeking professional guidance. Pain in your cesarean scar is often caused by a scar that is too tight and stuck down or adhesed. So the treatment for that is, is scar massage. Uh, so if you've never tried scar massage, I really implore you to give it a shot. It's so easy to do at home by yourself. You don't have to be a therapist. It's very easy to learn. Um, and, and the effects are pretty shockingly quick. Now, caveat. Pain can be caused by a whole bunch of other things, weakness, um, infection, uh, certainly uh, injury or uh, movement pattern issues that cause pain uh, and often other systems as well. So don't 